Hi, this is Aaron Walker. We're continuing on our look of day. Um, we're sticking with Frank Vignola on some of these days. The recording he did with Jimmy Rosenberg that was never released, but available on YouTube on the link on the top right corner. It might have disappeared by now, but it's there. Okay, this is kind of two looks, but they're definitely related to each other. You can tell that they're related to each other in Frank's mind by the way he ends them the same. When you end a phrase um, the same way, you're generally saying, okay, this phrase re is related to the one that came before. So it's really two phrases, but they, they come together. Here it is. Okay, that's the whole lick. Um, the reason why I say they're related together, by the way, he ends on the syncopated fifth of E minor, and the chords are B7 for two measures, E minor for two measures, B7 for two measures, and then E minor for one measure. And then he goes on to the next lick. So, um, if you've done a lot of gypsy jazz, you know that first, the way it starts off, is a very traditional uh, diminished arpeggio on the third of B7. And also, at the end of the phrase, which is very common, he adds the B natural to it. Okay, he comes back down, approaches the fifth by a half step above. Okay, then he's going to do an enclosure. So he comes down to G flat, then he goes to F sharp, up to G. Now we're at the E minor, we're on the downbeat of uh, E minor, and G is the third. So that's the goal here. Okay, that's not how I fingered it. There's probably lots of ways to finger this. If you have a better suggestion, go ahead and put it in the comments for people to see. Sorry. Here's the enclosure. I play it up here. He goes up to the, chromatically up to the seventh of E minor. He hits the second, the F sharp, on a very strong beat, so that's why it's got the very nice um, dissonant sound whenever you hit the second or any, um, no, that's above when the chord tones on a strong beat is going to have a nice dissonance. And it ends on that B on a sinking paper on the and of four. Okay? Second part of the lick. So this is at the end of the E minor chord. And what he's going to do, he's going to do one of those very traditional uh, gypsy jazz things where when you're in minor and you're on the dominant chord, you approach each chord tone by a half step above the chord tone, and then you go down to it. Okay, and then he ends the phrase by going up to the fourth, the suspended fourth over G of an E minor chord, so that's A, down to the third, and then ends on the, the fifth on a syncopated beat. Okay, and like I said, same, same concept. You hit that four on the downbeat. The four is one scale step above the third, so which is part of the chord. The fours aren't part of the chord. So that suspension creates a really nice dissonance, dissonance for the same reason the second created the same nice dissonance. Okay, that's it, and we'll see you tomorrow.